Hi, this is Mark Bassett, Executive Director of Nevada Northern Railway Museum, and welcome back to another episode of Railway Fun Facts and Trivia. And today is restoration. Right next to me here, believe it or not, this is a welder. This is a giant electric motor built in 1918, and this is the control panel from 1922. It obviously needs restoration. It was actually used in this building to repair the railroad's equipment. And this is where our partnership with Rick's Restoration comes in. Every time we take something down to Rick and he restores it, not only do we get to tell its story here at the museum, but we also tell its story to the entire planet. So sit back, relax, and what we're going to do is go through the railroad, and I'm going to show you the different items that Rick and his staff have restored for us. So enjoy. This is the piece that started it all. It is a strong box. We wanted a strong box to demonstrate how valuables traveled from one end of the country to the end of the country. An express company that you're familiar with today is American Express. They got their start hauling valuables across the country. This box is from the Railway Express Company. There would be a key here in East Elite. Valuables would be put in it, locked, it would go to Salt Lake City on the train. At Salt Lake City, another agent had a key, opened it up, and removed the valuables. When we got the box, it was in very rough shape. Took it down to Las Vegas, took it to Rick's Restoration, and Rick said, yeah, I can restore that. We were very fortunate to have Rick and his crew do the restoration of one of our Velocipedes. The Velocipede was built approximately 1910, and it was in a whole series of parts. And Rick and his crew were able to put it together, and the episode title is called Off the Rails. A Velocipede is a device that was used for track inspection. The operator would sit on it, put their feet up on the pedals, grab the handle, and pull it towards them. And they would go up and down the track. And using the Velocipede sure beat walking the rails to do track inspection. This item here was in the back of one of the buildings on the far side of the yard. And so when Rick said, you got anything else that needs restoration? I go, I got just a ticket for you. It's hard to believe, but this is a 1914 shop vac. It is an Arco Wand vacuum cleaner. There is the vacuum motor. And back here is the electric motor that powers the unit. Rick did such a fabulous job on the restoration that I thought we need to keep the motor visible. It's normally underneath a cover. And Cowboy found out that this entire piece was brass. And so Cowboy spent all of his time polishing that. We might have been a small railroad, but we were a very proud railroad. And the passenger cars were vacuumed every night. And this is what they used to vacuum the cars with. The episode name is Sucka. We have mysteries here, and this was one of our mysteries. When this was sitting in here, we thought it was a sandblaster. It turns out it wasn't. It was in real bad shape. We took it down to Rick. What we discovered was it's a cement gun. Basically, you would dump your cement in the upper hopper. In the lower hopper, it was mixed with water, and then it could be sprayed. Just like you have a paint sprayer, I'd be spraying cement right now. When we did the restoration on this, Rick was very concerned about that bottom piece there. He thought that it could be solid concrete, and guess what? It was solid concrete, so he had to chip it out. He did actually get this to work. It does work. We don't use it for spraying cement anymore, but it was built in 1915 and delivered to the copper company. The reason we have it is, it was used to spray linings on the inside of the tunnel. This is another piece that Rick and his crew did for us. It is a speeder. You've seen in other episodes, we got the pump cars and everything else. Trust me, that gets old real, real fast. And rather than send a train out, you could send a speeder out. 
And the railroad purchased this in the late 1940s, and it has a Ford flathead V8 in it, 100 horses. If you'd like to see the episodes, they are available online, and you can download them. The episodes are Knockout, Suck Up, Tractors and Trucks, Kyle's Promotion, Train Trouble, Mixed Signals, and Off the Rails. This is another wonderful example of the partnership between the Railroad Museum here and Rick's Restoration in Las Vegas. These are original Nevada Northern Railway wigwag signals. They date to the 1920s. I've been the executive director here for 12 years now, and they've been laying on the ground behind the engine house. There is no way that the staff or the volunteers could have ever found the time to restore them. And they're an integral part of the railway history. And let's face it, they're just plain cool. And you can see how cool they are. The light flashes back and forth, we have the bells, and they really add to the story of the Nevada Northern Railway. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Railway Fun Facts and Trivia. Check our website often as we update additional episodes and our train schedule and other events that are all happening here at the Nevada Northern Railway National Historic Landmark in Ely, Nevada. This is Mark Bassett saying, I'll see you down the tracks.